Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jack from STEM. And so I'm sure I don't need to import the importance of collaboration on you guys. As every other conference that I've been to, collaboration has always been a very central theme. And as we've seen previously already, we've got teams looking for partners and now resource providers looking to provide resources. So I guess to break it down, it's never really been about never really been a question of will, but rather it's a question of how. Now, just want you to imagine, what if you can easily find every single person around the world that is tackling the same problems that you are tackling? How much easier would collaboration be? And how much time could you save? And with that extra time, you can then focus on really tackling the big questions and creating truly innovative solutions. So let me introduce you to STEM. And that is exactly the problem that we want to solve. We want to improve collaboration in the space community. And at the same time, add a little fun twist to it. So you can think of us as online dating for space ideas. And just as you would on any online dating website, you come to our site and you create a profile. And you let us know about your interests, what projects you've done in the past, what you're currently working on now. And we'll use our algorithms to match and connect you to space ideas around the world and other researchers who are tackling very similar problems to you. And we'll show you that all on our beautiful space newsfeed, like this. But at STEM, we also realize that scientific output is not just about papers. It's much more than that. And we allow you to share your ideas in three formats, either as a project page, as you see up here, which is kind of like the online version of a paper, where you can do a blog article, where you can tell everyone about your space ideas and really establish yourself as a thought leader in the field. Or you can do Q&A discussions, kind of like you would on a real date, but except unlike a real date, will connect and match you to as many space ideas as, as, and researchers as you can possibly handle. And so our mission is really to connect all of these space ideas and researchers like you around the world. So you can get together, collaborate, and create a lot more space idea babies. So let me introduce you to our awesome team. We have Jackson, David, and myself. Um, we're based out of Sydney, Australia, but unfortunately, Jackson and David weren't able to uh, join us this weekend. And so we're all engineers by training with backgrounds in computer science, physics, commerce, mechanical engineering, and of course, aerospace engineering. And we really started STEM out of our own frustrations with a lack of collaboration in space. So Dave here was working on a nanosatellite plasma thruster for his thesis. And when he attended a conference in Beijing, he met another researcher from a neighboring university at the University of New South Wales, which is about 15 minutes away from where we are. And they were working on exactly the same thing. And it just seemed completely ridiculous to us that we, as rocket scientists, can't figure out a better way to do this. Now, having also had some experience with the computer science community, we've seen firsthand what things like Stack Overflow and GitHub has done for the software community and the open source movement. So we want to bring that same spirit of collaboration to the space community. And so right now, we're currently in version two of our beta with over a thousand users from around the world from places like MIT, Stanford, ESA, NASA, Lockheed Martin, SpaceX, uh, et cetera. And we've already managed to connect teams and members from around the world for the last Space Apps Challenge um, run by NASA. And now we want to help connect the rest of the space community, whether you're working on rockets, CubeSats, PanSats, whatever. The inventor of the cu CubeSat, Professor Robert Twiggs, is also on our platform, and he's personally thanked us for building something like this, saying it has long been overdue. So that's pretty much STEM. And I hope we can make your research process easier and contribute towards helping reduce the unfairness that Reisan alluded to earlier by connecting researchers all around the world, 
no matter their background, to this common space knowledge base. And overall, we believe this will really help speed up the pace of scientific innovation and development and get us to Mars faster. So please visit stem.com, um, sign up, takes a couple of minutes and give it a go. And let me know what you think. Thank you.